This video is sponsored by Case Defy. Hey there. So iOS 18.1 is finally out. And in this video, I'll be discussing about all the top features of iOS 18.1. Also, I'm using these amazing cases from Case Defy since I got my iPhone 16 Pro Max and they have held up really well. So first up, we have the new Siri with this update. Simply holding up the power key turns on this new Siri with beautiful looking animation. You can also double tap on the navigation bar to bring up Siri, where you can just type to ask anything. This will be really helpful when you are in a meeting and you want to ask anything to Siri. Siri is also now a bit faster and you can ask more complicated questions and more intelligence options like integration with chat GPT will be added later on with iOS 18.2. But Apple intelligence isn't just limited to Siri. In the Photos app, you'll find new AI-powered editing tools that can automatically suggest the best enhancements for your photos. Things like lighting adjustments, color corrections, and even background blur suggestions are now powered by AI. In Photos app, iOS 18.1 is introducing a fantastic new feature called Cleanup. Now, this is where Apple intelligence really shines because this feature allows you to remove unwanted objects from your photos with just a few taps. We've seen similar features in third-party apps, but now Apple is bringing this functionality directly to the native Photos app. And I've got to say, it works like magic. So how does it work? Let's say you've taken a beautiful photo, but there's something in the background that's ruining the shot. Maybe it's a random person walking by, or maybe it's just a piece of clutter you don't want in the image. All you have to do is go into the editing tools, tap on the new cleanup option, and then use the brush or circle tools to highlight the object you want to remove. The AI, automatically detects the object and removes it seamlessly, blending the background so it looks natural. And let's not forget, the more you use cleanup, the smarter it gets. Apple intelligence learns from your edits, so over time, the tool becomes even more accurate and efficient. I've been using this feature for a while now, and it's honestly one of my favorite new additions in iOS 18.1. By the way, this is the new impact case from Case to Fi, that I'm using right now. It features a built-in stand, so you can place it anywhere you want, and that makes watching YouTube videos a lot comfortable. Photos app is also getting a cool futuristic thing called Memory Movie. While the animations might look kinda cool, but overall I'm using this feature a lot less. The Photos app now has the ability to create memory movies using your descriptions. Just enter a description, and Apple Intelligence will automatically select the most fitting photos and videos. It will then create a movie based on what's in your Photos app. You can add specific scenes and images you want or change the music. Writing tools is something that I really like because I take a lot of notes. Writing tools are available system-wide, including in third-party apps, and they help you rewrite, proofread, and summarize text. Simply select a text area and tap the Writing Tools option from the menu that appears. You'll see options like Proof Read or Rewrite with different versions, such as Friendly, Professional, or Concise. Also, we are finally getting summary notifications with iOS 18.1. These summary notifications can help a lot when you are in a hurry, but quickly want to go through notifications like what's important and what's not. This will help you save a lot of time. This summary feature is not only limited to notifications. When viewing an article in reader mode, in browser, there's a new summarize button that uses Apple intelligence to summarize the article's content for you. Next up, we have focus mode. iOS 18.1 adds a new focus mode called reduce interruptions, using on-device AI to automatically analyze notification content and only interrupt you with important notifications. Before moving on, I would like to share my experience with this amazing impact case from Case to Fi that has a beautiful pattern on the back. This case has protected my iPhone in every possible way. The amazing pattern on the back makes it stand out and the cutout for camera control also helps me use that function whenever I want. Variety of color options are available from Case to Fi, 
so do check out the link in description for an amazing 15% discount. Now let's talk about Control Center. If you've updated to iOS 18, you've probably already started playing around with the new customization features in Control Center. You can add or remove controls, rearrange them, and make your iPhone's Control Center truly your own. But here's the thing, what happens if you go a little overboard and things get, well, messy? Don't worry, iOS 18.1 has you covered with a brand new feature that allows you to reset your control center back to its factory defaults. This is something that a lot of users have been asking for, and it's finally here. With just a few taps, you can undo all those customizations and go back to the default setup. All you have to do is head over to settings, go into control center, and you'll see a new option to reset everything. It's as easy as that. Also, we will be getting some new separate toggles for certain actions like turning on Wi-Fi or VPN. This will be now just one click tap instead of two that you have right now on iOS 18. All right, now for all you multitaskers out there, this next feature is going to blow your mind. With iOS 18.1, Apple is introducing drag and drop functionality between your iPhone and your Mac. Yes, you heard that right. You can now drag files, images, and even text from your Mac over to your iPhone and vice versa. This is a huge improvement for anyone who uses both devices regularly. Here's how it works. First, you'll need to mirror your iPhone to your Mac using Apple's existing screen mirroring features. Once you've done that, you can simply drag and drop files between the two devices as if they were one. This makes transferring documents, images, or even videos super easy. No more emailing files to yourself or dealing with AirDrop's occasional hiccups. Just drag, drop, and you're done. iOS 18.1 also reintroduces the Quick Note button for the lock screen shortcut. This button was initially present in iOS 18 Beta 2 but was removed in the official release of iOS 18. At the Glowtime event in September, Apple introduced hearing health features too exclusive to the AirPods Pro 2, including hearing protection, hearing test, and hearing aid. This feature has been also added with iOS 18.1, so if you have AirPods Pro 2, then you can check it out. For iPhone 16 Pro users out there, now we have option in camera control and that's for selfies. iOS 18.1 includes a new selfie option for camera control, which previously only displayed lens options like 0.5x, 1x, 2x, and 5x Pro models only. Apple is trying its best to make camera control more and more useful, but still I'm not using it. In iOS 18.1, the clock widgets now have transparency instead of just being black-like in iOS 18. However, this change only appears in tinted mode. I think Apple should apply this change to both light and dark modes as well, since the transparent look really fits with iOS's design aesthetic. What do you think? Last but not least, we have something that I know many of you have been waiting for, call recording. Yes, it's finally happening iOS 18.1 brings native call recording functionality to iPhone, and it's about time. This feature has been highly requested for years, and now, it's here. Once you've updated to iOS 18.1, you can enable call recording in your settings. Just go to Settings, search for Call Recording, and toggle it on. From there, whenever you're on a call, you'll see a small icon in the top left corner of your screen. Tapping this icon will initiate the recording and you'll get a three second countdown before it starts. Now, it's important to note that the other person on the call will be notified that the call is being recorded. This is in line with privacy laws in many regions, so make sure you're aware of your local regulations regarding call recording. Once the call is over, you'll also have the option to view a transcript of the conversation, which is incredibly useful for anyone who needs to keep records of their calls for work, interviews, or just personal reference. This is definitely one of the most exciting features in iOS 18.1, and I can already see a lot of people making use of it in their daily lives. 
If you are going to buy the latest iPhones, then make sure your investment is safe. The new iPhones are now bigger and better, but you still need that extra protection, and that's where these new cases come handy. Their cases offer a wide range of style, customization options, and most importantly, they provide the protection you need for your brand new iPhone. The latest Ultra Bounce case can withstand drop from 10 meters, and it also offers versatile use thanks to its expanded corners. A lanyard attached to your phone case provides easy access and hands-free convenience while traveling, reducing the risk of dropping or misplacing your phone. It also helps keep your phone secure during activities like sightseeing or hiking. And if you don't ever drop your phone like me, then do check out my favorite case, which is this impact case that has a cool pattern on the back. And it is just perfect with that cutout for the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So check out these cases from the link down in description.